हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर दिव्या मदान वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर ऑल दोज हु आर न्यू हेयर आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई एम डॉक्टर दिव्या मदान आई एम करेंटली पर्सिंग माई एम डी इन पेडियाट्रिक्स फ्रॉम एस एम एस मेडिकल कॉलेज जयपुर हैविंग सिक्योर इन ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ वन फोर जीरो जीरो इन ई पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड आई शेयर ऑल द प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजीज टिप्स एंड मेक यू टीच सम ऑफ द टॉपिक्स इन पेडियाट्रिक्स वेन एवर आई कैन so today i wanted to discuss about one of my uh, yet another mistakes that i committed so that you don't commit the same uh, it was about choosing uh, your q bank and how to solve uh, go through mcqs uh, the exam we are going to appear for beat neat pg beat i and i both of these are uh, multiple choice questions that we face and uh, one thing that i feel i uh, lagged uh, one thing that lagged in my preparation was i was not selective enough when uh, it came to solving q banks i was just solving whatever i got my hands on uh, i didn't focus much on previous year questions and also i didn't even uh, assess uh, i didn't knew how to assess if that q bank was good or bad later i realized that yes the q bank in which i can exclude the three options and i can uh, make out four questions from that single question is a good one and also the topics that are frequently repeated if you are finding the q bank that is having all the high yield topics it is a good one obviously and the one that has two basic questions or two high fi questions is not the one that is required for a good rank so uh, recently i came across this an academy platform where they are recently launching their qbank 2.0 so they are giving away uh, this 15 minute challenges uh, so i took on one of that challenge to look how their qbank is and uh, let us go through that uh, uh, challenge what how i did and uh, how the qbank questions are so let's go through that you can uh, find these challenges on their website as well as on their uh, app that is available on both android as well as ios so let us go through that so this is the qbank challenge on an academy uh, platform i'm using it on my tablet through chrome so i can see there is a mix bag of questions for each correct answer you get plus 4 for each uh, incorrect answer you get minus 1 uh the pattern i am seeing here is that most of the questions are clinical case scenario based questions which is the recent pattern so i feel their q bank must be up to date with the recent pattern also i can see a lot of image based questions here uh, i have uh, mentioned in one of my previous videos how image based questions can be your biggest friend when it comes to revision and how these image based questions can be used at uh, last minute when you you get bored rereading your notes again and again though this is a just a bag of 15 questions i can uh, see a lot of previous year questions here like the last one where herring law sherington law was asked it is a frequently asked uh, repeat question also i like the way uh, most of the questions begin with a clinical scenario and they end with some uh, knowledge based on your preclinical paraclinical subjects on the right hand side you can see an overview board where there are number of uh, questions that you have answered number of questions that are left and uh, if you have marked some of the questions for review that is also displayed there so that if uh, before uh, submitting the test you can uh, go through each and every question if you want to directly from there so i have done uh, all these 15 questions now and i think uh, we can just end this test and look the analysis so after completing the test they give you the analysis comparison uh, the number of questions that you have marked correct incorrect your score on the leaderboard comparison through the toppers in each subject wise analysis as well how you have performed in each of these subjects let us see individual solutions now i can see where i am on the bell curve let's look out for the solutions so you can actually pinpoint all of those answers that you have marked as incorrect and go through them again and again if you want to 
let us take an example of one question now so this is a pediatrics question specifically behavioral disorder in this scenario a seven year old boy was refusing to go to school as soon as his mother leaves him so this was separation anxiety disorder but you should also know how to exclude out other options given here like ibs conduct disorder so the overall experience was uh, decent for me uh, i feel the quality of question overall is uh, good good enough for uh, you having a good rank a mixed bag of questions very high yield questions very factual questions as well that are required so you can also give one of these uh, take one of these quick q bank challenges and look out if this q bank is working for you or not and uh, there's an offer going on 20% discount till 26th of august midnight you can uh, use the code mentioned in the description box in here as well so i hope this helps see you next time till then happy learning all the best for your exams